Welcome back to Frenbo. I would have started streaming at 5, but I had a sudden urge to... <laughs> it's not facing that way. So, I had a sudden urge to go get some Lucky Charms, because I saw that uh, new Hulu ad, the one where it has like, all this Lucky Charms looking cereal with green little marshmallows in it, with all the stuff in Hulu and stuff like that. You guys probably see it. You you know what I'm talking about. But uh, they didn't have those little cups of Lucky Charms, so I <laughs> went and got Doritos and some Earl Grey tea instead. Sadly, I really wanted some Lucky Charms. The only Lucky Charms we have right now are the ones in boxes, and <laughs> I don't think I can bring that back with me. Uh, parents think it's too much sugar, which it probably is anyway. Okay, friend Bo. Oh, we're already dropping frames. Again, really? And yes, I, I am wearing a tie. Because I want to. Snazzy day. That's not friend Bo, this is friend Bo. <sighs> I had to change the screen thing again, don't I? Because it doesn't want to capture friend Bo. Every day this... Every day this thing. Yeah, it, it... It says Fran Bo, but... Oh, hold on, let me... Is this gonna actually work, or is it just the black screen that I tried it last time? I don't know if I did. Mm. Oh god, my stream is very behind. Uh, it, it's just a, it's just a black screen. Okay, I'm going to display capture. Come on. Okay, almost hit new game there. Let's continue. Okay, so from what I remember, we just got away from those that uh that twin twins the twins attached to each other. Uh, we defeated them, we rode a toad, which we magically made bigger, with flour. <laughs> Too hot. And now here we are with Mr. Midnight! Oh, we can talk to him! So cool. Oh, kitty. What will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of <laughs> Eat, of course. Me. Why is it so dusty? I literally cleaned this desk yesterday. <sighs> uh, eat of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? I think I would like the same. Yeah, me. This is the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, ba ba ba. Already went through that. What's it like? Oh. What's going on here? Oh dear, baby skeleton. Guess I didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Okay, it's all from. Was that a blood moon? No. Tree. Whoa, what a tree! It has many roots. They look like arms. I would love to have a conversation with a tree someday. Maybe you can. What about you, Mr. It's It's the same thing! Alright, does the tree have eyes? Oh, it's these guys again. Sir, are you the curious insects that got stuck? They're sleeping. Maybe you're not, they are not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. We met those guys. Oh. Last time. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. It does. Little... Oh, Fran. I thought the cat said that. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now, he says as he <laughs> cleans himself. Uh, yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Uh, I could go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty. You are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Go, Mr. Midnight! All right, let's go. I don't like the sound of that. Fran, wait. 
Oh god, it's the goat man. Get out of here. Oh, and we fell. Why is ketchup coming out of her eyes? Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. I got you. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Friend, no. Ugh. <sighs> Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. <gasps> Who grabbed us? Aunt Grace? Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, and you but your mind is tormented. And we're crying catch up again. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace. Why don't you just take me out of here? Please. You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. Ooh. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. What happened to Aunt Grace? And why are we crying catch up? No, Aunt Grace, no! Don't go, please! Oh, it's the doctor again. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Red vines? What the heck is going on? Is this a fever dream? Oh, we're. We're Mr. Midnight! Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran? Where are you? Are we the tree? Fran Shu. Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty. Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran. You are a tree. <laughs> Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. Why are we a why are we a tree? What the heck happened? What but how? Oh my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night, Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Is this even close to our home? But... <laughs> We're just in an open field. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. <gasps> Magic tree beings! Hamka, Igni, Mi, Hala. Koke, Koke, Ig, Ranma, Pasu, Halu, Ni. Igni toke banti Be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hala, koke, hala. Stop it, I'll scratch you. Hala, rang me, igni. What are you what are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hala. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hala, igni, vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Uh, uh, where's the purse? Do you see it? 
I have no idea, but do you remember my mother's purse? Well, that one. Uh, I'll be right back. These are Fran's stockings. This is a wooden boat. Very old- oh, it's a vegetable, not a tree. There it is. See my friend's purse. We have to click this, don't we? There we go. Rock. Can we grab the boot? Can we use the boot? Friend shoe. Friend shoe. <laughs> Stop attacking my friend, carrot. Um. Maybe these? There we go, it's stone. I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Can we put it in here? Use the crystal with this. There we go. Oh wait, no. Grab that. Use the crystal with it now. Now we can go grab it. Mark kitty. Grab. I got the purse. Only because I'm the best. Of course you are. And my darling, I've got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now, show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Anum mi haka ah vama paskin alto. Huh? Where are you taking me, sir vegetable? Get in, kitty! They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Okay, mama. Hippo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galampa. Galampa. Flying boat! Man, this game is weird. But it's cool. But it's weird. Chapter 3, veg uh, Vegetative State. Queen tree. It men bal mendo cast ba ziad ni hala anam. Ishamaud. Iptem gorska. Emiten ufreo. Gorska zero. Welcome, creature. My name is Zare. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes, finally. Words I understand. My good friend Fry told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Oh, we're friend now. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Oh, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me at the seed. Iptem monkas ecto ecto pro ecto prote. Let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. They know our family? Ah, your name is Fran. You're a girl with a passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Why does, why does everyone know about me? Be quiet. Damn, okay. I see something else. The sea doesn't hide an anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody. Except for one. What do you mean? The... You're not supposed to be here, Fran. Yeah, I guess that. This is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Oh, that is the only thing I can tell you. 
I want to go home. We can't let you leave now, it's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. That does not make any sense. Well... Maybe a little bit. Uh, once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Oh, that's what she means. I really need to go home. Little cat, come closer, let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. This is indeed a very- that is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think friends should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Oh, sir? I- Uh, show us the way back home, I implore you. I have a question, are you the king? You are hilarious, yes, I am the king. Okay, so, it's a king, not a queen. My bad. Uh, the king of... It's Hilda. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. Please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own risk, your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first. You must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only a great wizard can do that. Great wizard? Who's that? But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will, uh, will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. That sucks. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? I do now. Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on frequencies and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'll- I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, not really. Take her upstairs. Immediately. Is it- Oh, there's bugs here too. Okay. It's I can deal with bugs. Not really. Uh, where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Magical tree forest. Is that a dragon? <gasps> it's an axolotl looking dragon. Good day, my name is Paul Palantres, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. I know, right? Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all this is real. My name is Fran, I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we could get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. 
Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? <laughs> Me. I'm the beast. Let's go! There we go, flying away! Here we are! Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Falokas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. If it's pure, why is it pink? It's kind of weird. But it's cool. Uh, who's the great Falokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day, he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Isertha, and his blood made this water pink. Okay, that's why. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. I bet it is. Wow, that sounds so grand. I mean... I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Isertha? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. Okay, why is my thing so far behind? Or is it just my phone? I guess it's just far behind. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. This is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but... Palantre, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well... When you traveled to Isertha, you opened the door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. Ooh, that's bad. Especially with the things that are falling for Anne. Is the sugar all the way at the bottom? Well, I should have stirred it. Uh, uh, and I made a mess. Of course. Classic. How did that even happen? Is it because I took the lid off? Probably is. Uh, and if that happens, the balance will be tainted. Understandable. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. So the ones that's the one that is chasing us. Okay. Is he crying? No, don't cry. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't cry. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. You don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. But let's concentrate on your arms and legs. Alright? Hmm. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water. Give friends her arms and legs. How do you feel, friend from Isertha? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? Maybe not anything. What do you mean? Fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had. And you are fluffy. And beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern, but he was an evil old man. 
Most people seem like that. Sometimes... To... Younger people, I guess? Uh... <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Uh... Guess I can kind of relate because... I was a shy little kid and... I didn't talk to... Any... One that I didn't already know. But I'm out of that now. And... I talk to people all the time. Uh, well sometimes, not all the time. Uh, an old man. Hmm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I will leave you at the station. Man, this place is so nice. Also, where's the waterfall coming from? Here we are again. So, show Zer the king what a nice... This sort and ties you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. Oh no. That's not good. I'm dropping frames. Uh, thank you again, Doctor. You've met my... Uh, I don't know what that said. Uh, that would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. I might make this one short since it's dropping frames. Yeah, it's... Shoot. Uh... Hold on. the Wi-Fi. I only have three out of four bars. Maybe that's why. Camera's not showing any drake uh dropped frames. My stream on my phone is frozen. Oh no it's not. Now it's normal. Okay. I think it was just my phone. Let's get back to the game. New fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Ha ha ha. Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. I look just like the uh, king a little bit. I have little flowers. Yes, little flowers. See you. What a great... Is sir, my nice nice you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Polantress will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that could open the door that will lead you home. Well, like the infinity stones? Is he Thanos? Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Ah, uh, you haven't even gone outside the castle. And you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain... Kortrem. Kortrem. Uh, we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him, and everything will be just fine. God. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. I'm sure it is. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great... 
<gasps> There's the doctor. Hello. Have a great dessert today. And good luck on finding the great wizard. Oh, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's what I'll just. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Ah, oh, thank you. Kitty, did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyway. You have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Cordrum. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. The throne of the king. Wonder if it's comfortable. We're not gonna want it. No. What about outside? Oh, I love paper swirls. They're huge. Little windmills. Oh, these flowers are huge. Okay. Can we talk to Mr. Midnight? You gonna... Work? There we go. You told me that we have to find him a running a great wizard. Yeah, can we go over here? Yes, I know. Uh. Alright, let's go. <sighs> no, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Uh, what's behind this passage? Little library. That's closed. Okay. Come back in fall and win or winter. Then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Polanches? Yep, that's me. Polanches give me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes round and the second moon of Erista, uh, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, I see many clouds. Are those flying boats? But how? Magic, Fran. Magic. Same thing. Okay. What's over here? Is there a way to heaven? Oh, this is a bit bit. This, well, this is a bit scary, but so beautiful. So true. Alright, let's go outside. Hello? Oh, what does this say? Oh, we can't read. Oh, wow! I don't understand. It's a tree symbol, but I wonder what it says. Can you read it for me? Hello, sir. Uh, are you a guard? Yes. Mountain Coltrum? Do you know where it is? Yes. Can you tell me? Yes. Tell me, please. <laughs> Just gonna say- Oh, it actually speaks- Uh, only in winter time. Oh, we have to wait until winter. What do you think? Can't wait for winter! <laughs> winter is actually my favorite season. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? How? Alright, but I'm not good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. Okay. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Alright, let's go. Down the stairs and go straight. Okay, there's... I don't know which street. This street? I'm kinda... So the market way is this way? What's this? Oh, it's the island. So... That's where the doctor took us. That's where we were. You went down the stairs, we go this way. That's the ground. The ocean. And that's the mountain we have to get to. Okay, so we go this way, I guess. It's this guy. Hello. Oh, he's gone. Hello. It's a good day for a good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Good. Thread and cloth to make stuff. And 
buttons! Oh, where are these coconuts? Oh, don't tell me. Hello? Ah, who is there? Who? Can't you see me? I have four eyes, apparently. Uh, what are you selling? Flawbacks of the entire land. Do you want to smell it? They they look like coconuts. Oh. Okay, I understand using it for soil, but eating it? No. Good luck with the plovis. Bye. You. You look very strong. Total Chad. Uh, hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruder, and I'm molding this piece of iron. Uh, for what? Pieces to the clock maker. Make all kinds of stuff? Ooh, we can ask him for... We can tell him ideas, and he can make them. I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Alright. Clockmaker. Clockmaker! Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see, sir. Do you know where I can find the Great Wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I, look at I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Okay. Goodbye. Maybe... What's this? Looks like chess. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start. I can't see the meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? What war? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you. I'm not very good at <laughs> this stuff. Uh, yeah, support game. Let's immerse on in this adventure. You against me, okay? I'll give you a quiet and a What do you say? All right. What are the rules? Tacto. Old gambling brand. <laughs> or you just win something, you get something as a reward. It happens like that in competitions all the time. Um... I think it's good to place it in a corner. Easy. <laughs> All my tic-tac-toe strategies. Oh, we have to go again? See that. Good. 
I think that's enough for night for now. Uh, very well done, little creature. You are a master. All right, you making boats? Good day, sir. I think I'm gonna talk to everyone here. Then, well, seem to be sure. I'll just end it on the chapter, unless this one takes too long. I'll end it uh the one hour mark. Then I'll do it again tomorrow. Uh, good day, little creature. Flying boats? Think of the, about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Can I borrow one? Oh. Uh, that sucks. Alright, you. Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. Aw. I'm Fran. Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma. And I want to sing all day long. Favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three. That's just counting! That's just addition. Yeah. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Okay. Let's go talk to the clockmaker. We need to talk to him. Or look at his clock. Yeah, we already went through this. Looking for a wizard. Mm hmm. Do you know where the mountain Quotem is? No, Quotem only needs to get some winter time. I thought it was just a bigger mountain. Okay, wait for winter. King said that the wizard would be here in Monday. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an indefinitely layered reality. What should I do? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Don't tell me it's up on the mountain. Alright. Cool. So we just go this way. We go this way. Here it is. Very odd clock. What are the numbers? It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Oh, we pull this. It sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But how does it work? Um. Okay, so it's broken. Mom keeps calling me for some reason. Uh, what have I stumbled upon? Oh well, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material. We are the Volokas. Oh, you are very shiny and you make me feel so happy. So very ha happy. Look, creature, one of the young Volokas will receive the shield. Ambakma, Pirmil Gro, Ambag Grad. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss? Hmm. Can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things. And it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. My answer is right. Are these the people that I saw up in- up uh, above before I fell? I saw them like wandering around- with, uh, around the ant, the ant person. There was one near its house, and when we came out of the uh, sewer pipe. Good questions, Fran. 
Truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back on you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. I feel like this is going to be a long chapter. Uh, but, dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Yes, kitty. You're right. What, what, what are we making it do? I don't get it. Are we trying to make it the arrow face a certain way? Uh, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. This place seems to be closed. That's person. Uh, what if we go up here? To the mountain. That looks a little bit like a face. It looks like, uh, that one mountain from that one Pixar short. Wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. Guess it would sound very loud, like an earthquake. Okay. What about over here? Oh, there has to be an opening here sometime. You find a golden coin for the- Oh! Yes, I did! Thank you for helping me, kitty. I did find a coin, that's the wrong way. Or I have a little problem. Mm, yes, I don't have any. The clock is broken. Can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. Uh, what do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here, a golden coin. Oh yes, but you have you have to offer me the job first, alright? Do it and be polite. Would you fix it? The exchange for this piece of gold in the name of a uh, time. I beg of you. Accept my offer. Of course. That was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. You're right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Ooh. Seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral. Being breaking a defense clock. Or why would somebody break it? Kalamas, winter, mountain kodum, the stones, many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kalamas, the evil darkness, they work for Remor, the terrible- Oh, so the goat thing has a name now. Okay, Remor. And Kalamas are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me, Remor wants the stones, but... What I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless to him, for him in his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is one more a giant black monster with a goat mask and a dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. 
Oh, a human. Now I understand. Uh, I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. That is why you need to go into winter time and go to Mountain Coltrem. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the great wizard and borrow the stones. Oh no. Oh, it just paused. That's why. Uh, well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. Oh, cool. It's a remote control for the clock. You will be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please, call me Cogwind. Alright, Mr. Cogwind, I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. Alrighty. Time to go to the mountain. Aha! Cave. Are you the great wizard? Are you the great wizard, sir? I need your help. I'm Fran and I need your help. Is this Mountain Cordum? Can you talk? Please. You have too many questions. That's good. The king said you'd help. The king says we do. I need to borrow the stones to open a door to my world. The stones are missing and I I don't remember where they are. Okay. Great. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. I'll help you find them. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. It was in the hat to begin with, I think. I don't know. I haven't seen a magic show in a long time. Uh, because if nothing exists, then nothing exists. Who knows, it might be real magic. Uh, but if nothing exists, then there is no nothing. Wonder again. How? Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good. He just noticed us? Uh, sir, uh, what brings you to the great wizard? That means me, just so you know. The king sent me. The stones, huh? It's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. Bruh. Make this this much harder for me. <sighs> you know, the black shadows and Kamahalas, they try to steal them all the time, so I have to be sure. I need the stones to go home. Stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Alright. Tell us the riddles. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only then, only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then, the only one who could bring them back is me. Uh, lots of information, but tell me the riddles. Let me show you. Magic. Yes. Oh, pentagram. This is the star of Irsta, Omankape, the greatest guide of the sky. The greatest caretaker of this land. Sounds great. Hey, great. What's up? Answer is always one item. Place the items on the star of Irsta on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Oh, thank god. It's on a piece of paper. I don't have to remember them. Oh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Sir Wizard, the king once- the king told me that you could make me human again. Did he? Hmm. I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember?
can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try and make you human again after you find the first stone. That would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. I'll try to figure out the riddles and I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become human? Hmm, I think the smell is very important if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes. Uh, oh we have to find our clothes, come on. Alright, I think I'm going to end it right here and do the riddles tomorrow. Uh... <sighs> I have... Gotta start packing on Thursday. Cause I leave on Friday. <sighs> Alright, well, okay, let's see here. Who shall we raid? Go with... Let's go with this person. I don't get many choices from the smaller communities tab. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I mostly pick people who play Minecraft. Because that's my favorite game. Right. There you go. How much are on the audiences? Oh, didn't see that. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Go be nice to them. Uh, go hydrate. Go take a shower. Go eat. And have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.